What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. And guys, you saw my last video where I got completely ripped off, didn't get credit for a win again for, what is that, the third, fourth time? Uh, so frustrating, but I got right into this game immediately thereafter. I know you guys are seeing this a couple days later, but the, the video that you're seeing here actually took place pretty much right after that game because I just wanted to get a win on the board if I could. So you're going to see me playing a head-to-head -head game here, like I said. We've got Bo Jackson here on the ground on the first play of the game, picking up decent yardage here. And then we're going back to Bo Jackson here on third down. A nice little juke move, which did end up picking up the first down just barely. We barely got that first down. I thought for sure I was going to have to go for it on a fourth down on the very first drive. Turns out we didn't, though, and we're going to complete this pass over the middle here to Jace Amaro for a nice little nine-yard gain. Back to Bo Jackson on the ground. Again, guys, this is the 90 overall Bo Jackson, the one that you got for a couple of days. It, it didn't really stay on your team. It's already back to being, what, an 80 overall now, but I was certainly going to utilize him while I had him. Now, you see me making adjustments before the play here, and that's because he pulled his safety out of position. I thought for sure I was going to have a wide open tight end there. I ended up not having an open tight end whatsoever. Ended up throwing the interception there to Morgan Burnett. One of the worst reads that I've made. I mean, he disguised his coverage just perfectly on that play. Great play by my by opponent there. I really can't really complain at all. He just made a really smart play with his defense there. Caught me off guard. And now he's going to get things going here on offense. He's got Geno Smith team of the week at quarterback, which I've been seeing a lot more on people's rosters than I was early in when, it, when that card first came out. I've seen it quite a bit now. It's actually a pretty darn solid item. So uh, I'm, I'm not that surprised to see it, but it's kind of surprisingly mobile. Not that Geno Smith isn't mobile, but it's it's more mobile than what you typically see out of him on an NFL Sunday. He is actually pretty quick, and the fact that he's number seven kind of makes you almost think that he's Mike Vick. But we are able to stop him on this first drive. He's only able to get three. The only thing that's really the big difference between Geno and Mike Vick, to be honest with you, is the fact that Vick is a little bit faster and he's left-handed. Other than that, they have pretty similar passing attributes, to be completely honest with you. Uh, not a whole lot of difference between the two of them. But we're back on offense, going to try and get things going here. I should have thrown this pass quite a bit earlier than I did, but for some reason I thought that I was going to have someone open deep. Did not. And I end up almost throwing a pick here again. I think that was, uh, I don't know who that was. It wasn't Morgan Burnett again. But uh, yeah, it could have been a disaster if I threw another pick there. Thankfully, I got bailed out for once by my opponent actually dropping an interception. So that was a nice change of pace. But we are down three to nothing right now. And my opponent does have the ball again. And he is driving down the field yet again. I'm having a lot of trouble containing his quarterback. And that's when I started to actually physically go in and do what you see there with my right defensive end. Well, actually, technically my de left defensive end. I was putting him in an actual contain before the play started. And the reason for it is because my opponent kept trying to scramble to his right. So I wanted to force him to stay in the pocket if I could. Didn't work there on that last play because he did take off and pick up a decent gain. But on that one, he clearly got thrown off and nearly ended up throwing a pick six to me there. That could have been a sweet user pick, but I did not get, get it. But that's okay because a couple of plays later, we are going to get the pick with Aaron Williams. Once again, a gold item. Probably the best player in my secondary. Unbelievable. You saw him on the budget series. The guy's an absolute beast. And yeah, I'm, I'm putting my money where my mouth is on that item, guys. That card is an animal. Now, after a decent pass there to Jordan Cameron, we are going to throw another short one to him over here on the sidelines. Set up a makeable field goal for us to tie this game going into the half. Thankfully, I was able to get some points on the board. I was really getting worried. I was struggling on offense, guys. For sure, and I was especially struggling on defense because this guy is running a ton of plays. Look at all these trap runs, look at all these draws, and he's still taking off with his quarterback. This time over to his left, I thought for sure I was going to force a fumble there. Did not, though, and he's back to running these draws right up the middle at me. I believe that's Steven Jackson. He's just tanking me with that thing. Just right up the middle, right up the middle, right up the middle, and my defense just not able to contain that run. I don't know what it was. Really, really frustrating, and, and he just kept go being able to throw over the top on it. It was really tough to stop this offense because he's picking up five, six every time that he runs the ball up the middle, so I have to kind of sell out on it. Oh, and it could have been a huge save there by Ladarius Webb, but he drops the pick. Oh my gosh, so frustrating. Fourth and five now. 
I was very surprised to see my opponent actually go for it here, but he's going to, and you know that I'm just going to be sitting there trying to contain the quarterback. You have to. Ugh, but he drops it off short. Panic throw there. I, I have to think that was almost a panic throw because I was not expecting him to go there whatsoever, and I don't think he was expecting to go there either. But he did end up picking up the first down there, and he's going to continue on this drive, just running the ball, throwing these short little passes down the field. Very, very difficult to stop. But we are able to force another fourth down, and this time he is just going to take his points. But watch this clock. You see how it's paused at three? Time's still clicking off. Time is still clicking off. What the hell is that glitch? What? Are you freaking serious? There's like 30 seconds left in the game now. And I, of course, my defense, my offensive line just gets murdered by the defensive line. I've got no timeouts, so well, I've got one timeout. Had to use it there. Ugh, 16 seconds left, and I try to throw that short pass to Jordan Cameron again, but Matt Ryan just throws it absolutely terribly. And yeah, that's pretty much going to do it, guys. I do find Demarius Thomas down the field here in single coverage. End up throwing the incompletion, though, and I am going to walk away with a loss. A lot of missed opportunities here for me. Very, very frustrating game. Tough to stop those guys who just run it right up the middle. But I had a close game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, of course, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys again for tuning in, and I will talk to you guys again soon.